Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is TJ. I'll be your host here at GoFigureNews.com. Today, we are reviewing one of the latest toys that comes from Monkey King out in the LA area. Brought to you by our friends at Tenacious Toys and TenaciousToys.com. So we are very, very pleased to have received this. I hope you all had a good Xmas and that you're all recovering. I even went to the gym today. How about that? I'm excited to look at this latest figure from Luke Chu. You might look at this and think, well, that looks kind of familiar. And we will link our previous review of the black set of this particular character. Now this is Headspace. And the black set had an evil bunny and a Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader. This is very different. And this is actually the first official set in the Headspace series. Now it's considered set number one though there have been a few previous, the earlier versions were basically convention exclusives. So this is the first official widespread release. So you can find this right now on sale at our friends at Tenacious Toys, and we will have the direct link. You're gonna want this after you take a look. Now it costs 60 bucks, he is four and a half inches tall. And of course the packaging comes in this Velcroed window box with the self-portrait painting on the front. And when you open it up, basically you've got a series of paintings on this side and here you have a sticker that identifies this particular set. And that's the only thing that's different in the packaging from the earlier rendition. And you can see inside it is a white set. Now this set also is, I guess you could call it subtitled, Bears, Rabbits, Devils, Oh My. The official set number one from Monkey King and Luke Chu. So here's what you get inside. You get the figure and you get two additional heads. So there are three swappable heads all together. There's a bunny, there is a bear, and there is a devil. So I'm going to pull it out of this plastic. It comes very well protected inside the box. Once you get it out of the box and out of the inner uh, safety plastic, there is yet another plastic bag covering these. And this is great because they become very, very safe en route to you, to your collection. Here is the main figure. Now, as you can see, he's got this small little devil head because the devil head has to fit underneath this larger head that is in his hands. This is hollow, so you can actually put your finger in there, not that there'd be any reason that you'd want to do that. So the main figure here is in kind of like a onesie pajama jumper and the only thing that is uh, changeable is the actual head. So on this one, you have a devil. I want to say I love this particular sculpt straight up. The box says 2015, but that is because they've used the generic box. They've labeled it, and this particular set is definitely a 2016 release. It actually came out at, in latter November. So if you happen to miss this, catch it right now on Tenacious Toys from, again, from Monkey King. This vinyl four and a half inch figure is really, really, really stunning. The suit with the little bear bunny tail on the back is just like a little poop. It just pops out there. You can see it from the profile. The profile is super cool. There's something nostalgic about it instantly. And then he comes with the bear head and the bunny head. They have a quality that is akin to porcelain. And I think it's the scale too. 
there's this very, very, very almost powdery, toothy white to the sculpt. And I just love the way that he sculpted the eyes on the bunny here. Here is Headspace and with the three swappable heads. Now I'm going to give you a perspective of what he looks like with each one of these heads. He's got the bunny, the devil, and the bear. And the bear head that is in his arms is actually sculpted onto the piece. It's not removable. This little red head is removable. So I'm going to pop off the devil and I'm going to put a bear on bear. Has a little scrunchy sound, but it pops right on. And I will give him a, you can get the rear perspective so you can see what it looks like. Gorgeous, 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 simple monotone, black and white with a little bit of silver for the zipper on the suit. And other than that, there really is no paint. There is, of course, paint on the devil's head. You've got the sort of orange eyes, the dark maroon horns. The vinyl is actually white, so the red is a overglaze. The bunny head here, similar to the bear head, basically has some uh, black markings for his nose and his eyes. So I'm going to swap out to the bunny head. I am actually particularly fond of this head and I, I actually like the works that Luke Chu does using the bunny head because I think it mixes it up a little bit. You know, when you use different animals, you get a, sort of a different feel uh, for a character. And, um, and there's something sinister about long-eared bunnies. Though, I have to say, uh, of all the pets I've ever owned, bunnies have always been the best, the most uh, docile and the easiest to take care of. So I'm going to give you a side profile with the bunny head. Special attention to detail was paid to particularly this bunny head, but I love the conversation going on here. I mean, if you take a close look, you can see that there is a lot of love in this set. I love that this set just keeps on expanding. If you've been keeping keen attention, you will have noticed that Chu also released a Boba Fett head set. And I think that was uh, released in a bag with a header card. And that was maybe early on this year. It could have even been last year. And then the Darth Vader set came out in January of, of uh, 2016. It will eventually make people who collect these have a, a larger arsenal of characters and changeable, swappable heads and so on and so forth. It actually is a way to mix and match uh, between sets. The very small hints of uh, pucker in the suit where it looks like there is actually, you know, someone in the suit. So you, you feel like, you know, you're not just getting this straight up clean uh, geometric design but you're getting something with a character built in gotta hand it to the team of monkey king and luke chu to bring us something this special for the season so check them out you can pick it up right now as i said check this link and go and get yourself one. This is one of the better toys of 2016 as we close the year. This is going to be one of our last reviews. We'll have a couple more before the end of the week. Here's wishing you a happy new year. Don't forget to subscribe to Go Figure News. We'll see you really soon. Over and out. We love Luke. We love Luke. We love Luke. We love Luke.